Okay, so Bethesda just ended off their showing for E3 2019. And, and you know, it, it wasn't the uh, best showing from them. So uh, they opened up with another kind of like the, their tradition of usually kind of having their staff come out and say what they appreciate about working, either working at Bethesda or like the fans. And they had that little thing. So after that, they then uh, went into a lot of stuff, actually. But pretty much Todd Howard came out and said, you know what? We screwed up. Fallout 76 was a big mistake on our part. And we, you guys still supported it. So they, they gave out a bunch of info on it. So much saying uh, we're having this new info kind of coming to Fallout 76 is going to be a bunch of new modes coming and uh the big one that they did stress that's coming tomorrow is that they're going to have uh a battle royale mode for fallout 76 so a year late like battle royale games the thing last year but bethesda and fallout are now getting into it <laughs> with their game so it was pretty much that uh, fallout 76 is gonna have new content coming and the one thing I will appreciate, it, it is all all free. I don't know how it's going to play because Fall 76 is pretty glitchy. So let's see how all 52 players do. <laughs> we'll know because uh, there's going to be a free trial uh, throughout this week and it's starting up tomorrow. So we'll figure out more on that tomorrow. Then the legend Shinji Mikami came out. Now, it is not Evil Within 3, but it is a new IP called Ghostwire. And, and there wasn't really too, too much uh, from it. Like, they did show a trailer kind of getting the concept. It seems like uh, the apocalypse happens, everybody disappears, and it's just kind of like ravaged land. So I, I couldn't get too, too much from it, and it was all just kind of in-game cinematics. So, not well, this is, this is live action, but once it switched to the end, like, it wasn't showing, like, in actual gameplay. So... We'll definitely hear more about this one uh, at a later point, but I, I am very intrigued. Just like this game click is going to be very weird. And it's like I, I will gladly take a weird Shinji Mikami game, and it's and it's uh, action adventure. So he's straying away from survival horror, so it should be interesting. Uh, then after that we had the Elder Scrolls Online segment, or as I call it, the Woo! segment, because it's just. The dude says something for five seconds and someone in the audience woos him. It just like goes like, woo, over and over. People were ecstatic for Elder Scrolls Online. It's kind of like I said, like this is the game that's really supporting, uh, supporting them right now. Like they are making a lot of bang on this game. And they kind of just announced, hey, we, we have more content coming. We have new uh, expansions and different things. So if you are a fan of Elder Scrolls Online. There is stuff for you. So, so you're good. And they showed this this long cinematic. There, there's a Khajiit who was fighting a dragon. And then some dude came out at the end. And they left it on a cliffhanger. So that happened. Then, uh, then the another, next announcement they had, which was kind of almost out of uh, nowhere. And I was like, wait, what? Commander Keen, a, a, a franchise I haven't heard in a long time. An actual pretty cool little game. Uh, now is back, but as a mobile game. And I was just like, oh man, you guys squandered. You had Commander Keen. Like, you could have just remastered the old games. Just leave them as they are. Just put them on newer stuff. But it's like, nah, Commander Keen, but as a mobile and, and, mobile and Android game. So it's like, uh... Like it's always it always happens to the ones you love, <laughs> uh, and they, they kind of talked about you know what hey we still have Elder Scrolls Legends the card game, yeah you may have forgotten about it but you know what we didn't it's it's here it's happening, so Elder Scrolls Legends the card game it's still there, they're still supporting it, and then they went into uh, Rage Two that uh, Rage Two came out a few weeks ago but now. Uh, Rage 2 is going to be having some new content coming, uh, new enemies, weapons, and just different sort of things coming to the game. So the game is still going to be uh, getting content throughout. So they, they are still uh, planning on uh, supporting this one. 
from there they went into uh, the Wolfenstein uh, expansion, uh, Young Blood, that's coming out this July. I thought it was coming out August, but it is coming out this July. So it, it it's not that far away. So that's coming out. They also mentioned that the Wolfenstein VR game as well uh, is still is still on track to come out as well this year. Or like, did they get a release window? I, I can't remember, but they they announced those two games. <clears throat> Uh, the next game they announced uh, from Arcane, the people who did uh, The Last Prey, their new game, uh, the new IP, called uh, Death Loop, which kind of continues the tradition this E3 of games with time loops. We had 12 minutes earlier. Now we have Death Loop, which, yet, yet again, another kind of cinematic thing. Concept seems cool, but I, I really just want to see gameplay on it. But it's like I, I'm, I'm always down for some new IPs. So then after that, uh, we had uh, two guys from id come out and talk about this new thing that they're working on called Orion, which is this uh, engine for s game streaming. And is that it would help developers. It works for on all engines. And it would really uh, help kind of ease in a lot of these new just platforms that are coming up. So Stadia and, and whatever. And kind of the showcase is they had... Uh, Somebody come out and actually play Doom 2016 on like a mobile device just to show that, hey, it, this is what it can do. But I'd want to see that definitely in like a different like controlled environment and different things. Like I'd be interested to see how, how that does turn out. I, I'm still very hesitant on like the whole streaming uh, games thing, but we'll, 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 we'll find out at some point. Cause they said like the beta is going up uh, in a few months. So yeah, like right here, they they show uh, they show it running on the phone, saying it's running at 4K 60. Which you know, if it actually does work in that, and it, and it does cut the bandwidth, that'd be cool. This right now is just a gamble still, just because you know all that stuff is. And then for the uh, final game of the show, they showed off a good amount of footage for Doom Eternal, which is coming out November yet again, bringing this November as like this crazy crazy time for games. And you know what? It, more of the same, but I, I am all for that. This game still looks great. I loved the Doom 2016 that came out, and I'm ready to get this game. It's going to be... Looks looks great. And you know what? That was pretty much the Bethesda showing with that. And they talked about a little bit of Doom's multiplayer, and it's going to have this different thing. But yeah, well, like, uh, two, one player plays, uh, two players play with the demons and one player plays as the Doom Slayer and you're kind of doing this little multiplayer thing. But, uh, yeah, after that, that was, uh, showing pretty much. So that was, that was, but that's like, not their, like I said, not their greatest showing in terms of stuff. Like it's, uh, like it's kind of decent. Like for me, the two announcements I really enjoyed, uh, I thought Ghostwire, I think the concept looks cool. I want to see more about that when, whenever that game does come into form. And I, I'm ready for Doom Eternal. But outside of that, and, and outside of that, not, not, not too, too much, to be honest. But uh, yeah, that is uh, that was the Bethesda showing for E3 this year. Not, not one of their greatest, but this is, this is that, still that in-between E3. So maybe they'll have some more stuff next year. So that's going to be it, uh, it for this quick recap, and I will see you later. Woo.